Welcome back, everybody, to the Montana State Bobcat Dynasty on NCAA Football 06. Two-thirds of the way into the season, and we're going to be taking a look around the country. Looking at the top 25, you got USC, South Carolina, Michigan, Florida State, Maryland, Purdue, Cal, Iowa, Florida, Miami, Virginia Tech, Nebraska, Auburn, Oklahoma, Louisville, Texas A&M, Virginia, Texas Tech, and then Georgia, and then at number 20, you got Ohio State, and then rounding out the last five teams, you got Penn State, LSU, Georgia Tech, Texas, and Boston College. Looking at the Big Sky Conference now, Idaho sits on top. Right behind them, though, is NAU. Then you got Eastern Washington, Sacramento State, Idaho State, Montana, Montana State, Weber State, and Portland State. This season has definitely been a disappointment for the Bobcats. Starting quarterback Matt Ransom did not have the debut season. He was hoping to have seven touchdowns, 17 interceptions, and has been benched for Chris Harris, who will be starting his second game today against the Eastern Washington Eagles. Deshaun Ralph is our leading rusher, over 600 yards and four rushing touchdowns. Matt Ransom is over 200 yards and three touchdowns, or two touchdowns on the ground, I believe that's said there, as our second leading rusher. Deshaun Ralph has become our leading receiver as we've just been throwing a lot of safe plays, a lot of checkdowns and whatnot, which still haven't really been working for us. We just haven't been able to utilize Jake Munoz the way we want to because of our quarterback play so far this season. Our offensive line has been playing pretty solid, though, throughout this year, even though it doesn't always feel like it. We have been getting a lot of pancakes there, too. Jed Torrey leads us in tackles. And then when it comes to TFLs, Corey Rivara, he has eight of them. Russell right behind him there with six. Rivara also has six sacks to lead the team. John O'Brien's got four. And then you got four players there, each with one. And then when it comes to interceptions, only two players have had interceptions, but there's five between the two of them. Today's game, we got a couple players visiting a couple recruits visiting first off Trey Noble a free safety and then also Nick Brown a defensive tackle the only in-state recruit you know I love to get those in-state recruits and we could really use some help on the defense especially if they play like anything they are doing this season you know we want to upgrade for next year as I said, we're taking on the Eastern Washington Eagles. They are led by Bly at quarterback, Justin Bly. He's having a pretty good season. He had 13 touchdowns and just three interceptions. Taking a look at this Eastern Washington team, they're sitting third in the conference. They're a pretty solid team there. They've been getting a handful of sacks there. You got two players with four. And then they each have two players with two interceptions. But one of them is going to be suspended for today's game. They are 4-3 and three coming into this game. Well, we are just a measly 1-7, and seven, man. We went, I believe, I want to say 7-5 and five last year. So, I, obviously, it's way too late to do anything close to match our record. But, you know, if we can get some, pick up some steam, pick up some momentum here late in the season, that would be fantastic. On that play, Justin Bly is sacked. Arthur O'Connor comes in on the blitz. Loss of 6 on the play. Bly looks to throw. He fires to the left side here. That pass is going to be broken up by Gerard Anderson as Seth Cobb is going to be missing the rest of the season with an injury. Throwing to the left side yet again. And yet again, Anderson's there to break it up. And that's going to force the Eagles to punt. Here's Deshaun Ralph on the ground. He loses two yards there. He's going to get the football yet again. He's not going anywhere. The Bobcats spread it out on third down. Chris Harris moves to his left. He can use his legs pretty good too. He dives for the first down and picks it up. Ralph takes this handoff right up the middle. Pick up of three there. He gets the football again, but this time Eastern Washington gets to him in the backfield. On third down, Harris looks to throw. He's moving to his right. He's going to get sacked in the backfield there, but he got brought down by the face mask. So that's going to be an automatic first down plus 15 yards. Harris looks to throw again, moving to his right. He's going to scramble and pick up five more yards. Harris looks to pass on first down, setting up the screen there for Gerard Anderson. But uh, why did I say Gerard Anderson? That was Greco. I have no idea why he said that. Anderson plays he plays cornerback. It doesn't work out for us, though. And then on third down and inches after a false start penalty, we give it to Pierre, but he is unable to pick it up. So we're going to attempt a 43-yard field goal here with Harry Williams. His kick is up and good. MS MSU here gets the early lead. Justin Bly throws quickly over the middle, but he's going to be picked off by Russell. 
just the third player to come up with an interception this season for Montana State, but it comes at a great time, giving the Bobcats fantastic field position here, and they're looking to add on to their lead. Ralph gets the football, but he's going to lose two yards. Now some read option here as Harris tries to pitch it out to Deshaun Ralph, and it ends up getting broken up. It's ruled a fumble, and he loses about five yards. Harris is rolling to his left, now says a prayer and throws it up for Ralph, who's somehow able to make that reception in double man coverage. Wow. My goodness, what a throw and catch there. How on earth did that not get intercepted or at least knocked away? Another reception there for Deshaun Ralph. Back-to-back -back catches for him. Gain of three on the play. Now we give it to him, trying to get him to uh, get some efficiency on the ground game, but instead he gets destroyed in the backfield. Now Harris moves to his left, fires through the end zone, but it's going to be picked off by Bryant, the safety there, I believe. It was third down. We tried taking a shot to the end zone. We're better off just kicking a field goal in that situation, though, and there's an injured Bobcat on the play. Eastern Washington has got the football back there. Bly was under a lot of pressure, and he throws that pass. It falls incomplete. We get an update on the injured Bobcat. He will be missing the rest of the game, but he will be back for next week. A nice run there by Justin Bly, who spun away from one defender, picked up about eight yards. Play fake here, and Bly is going to be sacked. I believe that's John O'Brien getting in on there. Actually, I was mistaken. That was Rivara, but still a big-time play there for MSU, forcing them to punt. Here, Harris throws left side there for Dotson in and out of his hands, but can you really blame him as there was some good coverage on the play? Harris throws left side there for Munoz, and that's on Chris Harris there. Just an overthrow. We're looking to throw the ball yet again. Harris rolls to his left, throws off his back foot looking for Doolin. A fantastic play there by Sanders breaking that one up, and that's going to force us to punt. Justin Bly steps up in the pocket, fires a strike over the middle to Smith. A fantastic throw and catch. Man, the animations in this game are just so smooth. Bly fires again this time for Bush, and that's going to pick up just a gain of two. Coleman gets the handoff here, but we get to him in the backfield. And that's going to set up third down and ten. Bly looks to throw, and it's going to hit one of his blockers in the back there, and they are going to have to punt. Here goes Greco right up the middle, pickup of six on the play. Now it's Deshaun Ralph's turn to run the football. He tries to get the edge there, but he's not going anywhere. Five wide on third down. Harris rolls to his right. Now he's going to try to pick it up himself, diving for the first down and moving the chains. Under a minute left to go in the first half. Harris is moving to his left. Now he throws left side looking for Munoz, but he's going to be picked off by Sanders. Harris is unable to make the tackle, and Sanders is going to go like he's Dion to the house. Touchdown, Eastern Washington, a 46-yard pick six. That's at least the sixth pick six thrown by a Montana State quarterback this season. And that's going to give Eastern Washington the lead. The Bobcats are still going to try to score here before the end of the half and hopefully take this lead back or be down by just one point. Back-to-back -back incompletions, though, do not set us up very good as it's now third down. Harris is looking to pass. Now he's looking to run. Going to the left side here, makes a move on a defender and steps out of bounds at the 46-yard line. 25 seconds left to go. Harris moves to his left now, fires over the middle, and he's very lucky that he didn't throw another interception. Harris rolling to his right yet again, throws off his back foot. He had an open man, but it was an awkward throw, and it's going to fall incomplete. Now Harris throws off his back foot again, but this time Michael Ryan's going to come back for it and set us up at the 34-yard line. MSU burns a timeout. Now Harris takes a shot to the end zone there, and Kevin Jones somehow brings it in despite the double man coverage there. And the Bobcats are going to take the lead, it looks like, here right before the half. A fantastic throw and catch puts the Bobcats up by three. MSU gets the football to start off the second half. Chris Harris getting into a little bit of a rhythm there. Gain of eight as he connects with Michael Ryan. Harris looks to throw on third down and three. He moves to his left, throws that one out there for Doolin. A big reception there. Gets us into Eagles territory. A big catch there. 
We're looking to run the football again as running has kind of been our forte. Two spin moves on Deshaun Ralph there that he put on defenders and he's going to take it to the crib. Touchdown Bobcats 38 yards out gives us the 10 point lead. Eastern Washington's offense has been shut out so far in today's game. Remember, their only touchdown came on that pick six. A toss to the right here for Coleman, who looks to pass. Great job by JoJo Henderson breaking that one up. They go with a little bit of play action here, but it backfires on them. And Justin Bly is on the ground after Rivara got his second sack today. We'll have to get an update on him soon. Pickup of five for Deshaun Ralph there. Now we give the football to Brian Brown. He's not going anywhere. And Justin Bly is not going to be going anywhere too. And Abdon will chair, tear for him. And he's going to be missing the next four weeks. Which is, I believe, essentially the rest of the season. So now Richards is in the game. He connects with Quinn on the left side there. But he loses two yards. Richards looks to throw again. Fires to the left. Another reception there for Quinn. Sets up third down and five. Setting up the screen now for Quinn, his third straight reception, and that's going to pick up the first down and get the Eagles across the 50. Play fake here, firing over the middle there, and that's going to pick up a nice gain. He's been moving the offense pretty good, actually. Play fake, Richards throws right side, and he is very nearly picked off there. Richards looks to pass on second down, moving around in the pocket, going over the middle. Another catch for Quinn, that's been his favorite target early on here. Play action, Richards looks to throw, fires over the middle, and that pass is going to be dropped. So they're going to attempt this 42-yard field goal now, but it was wide right. That one did not stand a chance, and the Bobcats get the football at the 25. Deshaun Ralph runs this one right up the gut, pickup of 8 on the play. Into the fourth quarter now, and MSU's just trying to hold on to this lead. A nice run by Brian Brown right up the middle. Gets us out to the 45. Now to Sean Ralph, using that speed on the right side. Jukes out two defenders and gets out to the 34. Ralph again with the carry as we try to just bleed this clock down. He loses two yards on that run, though. We give it to him again, this time running to the left side. He has some open space and brought down just shy of the red zone. Ralph again with the football there, but he's going to be caught from the side. Pickup of just two on the play. They're going to give it to Ralph again running left side, but this time Eastern Washington gets to him in the backfield for a loss of three. Harris looks to pass, moving to his right. He's got an open lane in front of him, tries to make a move on a defender. It's not very successful, but he still picks up the first down, and Eastern burns a timeout. First down and goal. It's a direct snap to Ralph, who turns the corner, stiff arms a defender, and is in the end zone for the six-yard touchdown. And that should be the nail in the coffin there. Under two minutes left to play. Richards throws right side. He's going to connect with Ward. A fantastic throw and catch there. Gets them out to the 35. Richards throws right side again. Ward another reception for him. Gets them out to midfield now. Richards looks to pass. He's got some time in the pocket. Throws right side there. He connects with his man. Pickup of nine on the play. Now they're going to run the ball with Coleman, but he's not going anywhere there. And there's holding on the play on Eastern Washington. That's going to result in a second down and 10. He throws left side there. Smith brings this one in. He gets some nice yards after the catch. A diving tackle made there by Gerard Anderson. But Eastern Washington is inside of the 10 now. First down and goal, they go play action. Richard throws to the end zone, nearly picked off by Hughes. Second and goal, they go play fake yet again. Richard throws to the end zone yet again, and this time he's going to connect with Flynn for the eight-yard touchdown. Some, uh, some, just some garbage time points. There's some, uh, some pride for, well, I guess, or whatnot. I, at least their offense, I guess, wasn't shut out for them. But still, a much-needed win for this Bobcat team to at least, I guess, play some spoiler for the Eastern Washington Eagles there as we defeat them and get our second victory in three games here. Chris Harris's stats are not that impressive. Just a touchdown, two interceptions, and a 37% completion percentage. But just with him in the game, feels so much better than Matt Ransom, even though he's like 20 overall less, which is crazy, but he just seems like he's playing better on the field. Deshaun Roth also had a solid day. He had some runs go backwards, but he did have that long touchdown run where he pulled off two nice spin moves. 
Our defense played really good too, just giving up one touchdown. We got three sacks on the game, two for Rivara, one for Arthur O'Connor, and then Russell had the interception. Looking at some of the other games in the Big Sky Conference this week, Idaho State gets their fourth victory on the year. They defeat Portland State 25-24. And, they, and then the Montana Grizzlies, our biggest rival, get their second victory as they're struggling this season. They upset NAU 38-24. And then finally, Sacramento State gets the victory over Weber State, who's still just at one win on the season. They win 19-17. That's going to be a wrap for this video. Thank you all for watching. And until next time, this has been Jeffrey reminding you to stay moist.